The update you didn't know you needed. The one we've been waiting for. Seriously, how amazing. Let's do this. If you updated your GoodNotes 5 app, you'll notice that we have a new tool here in our toolbar, which GoodNotes is calling Elements. Elements basically serves as your clipboard for saving images, text, and handwriting to be used through the app in different documents, notes, and planners. And it even comes preloaded with some sticky notes and other cute elements. And you can add and create your own collections by either adding photos from your camera roll, or importing them from the Files app, Google Drive, or wherever you have stuff stored. I'll be sharing how to add elements to a collection through one more method later in this video. And of course, you can split screen elements, which will be so great for digital planners and note takers alike who want a better view of their saved elements and make use of the multitasking feature. So let's put elements to the test. I'm always writing the same things over and over in my digital planner like morning routine. I don't feel like writing that over and over, so I normally just copy and paste. But with elements, I can lasso it and click add element, and then it saves it to its own collection. No more scrolling through pages to copy and paste. So when I create a new daily page, I can simply add my handwriting from my elements collection versus copying and pasting or rewriting it entirely. And for my digital sticker collectors out there, this means never having to pull up a ton of separate sticker files to search for the perfect sticker because you can organize them with collections. So some stickers that I use all the time are the content creator stickers that come in the Life and Stickers bundle in the K Digital Studio shop. So I'm just going to create a collection for it. This means if you have digital sticker sheets, you can easily create elements collections from those. It's the same premise as pre-cropped GoodNote sheets, you want to make sure your sticker is cropped and away from all the other images so you can just save that individual one to the collection. Otherwise, you might accidentally pick up things you didn't want to when saving your element. And then it's even easier to access stickers because they are available right there in the toolbar. Literally the update I've been waiting for as a digital planner and note taker in GoodNotes. This update is great for students too, because if you find yourself always using the same formulas or graphs, tables, diagrams, you can save it all in an elements collection. So whenever you're having trouble with remembering something from your notes while you're working through exercises, or the same concept is always popping up when note taking, you can save time by pulling it from the elements collection. One thing I have noticed about Elements is that there is a share option, but I found it doesn't work correctly, at least I think. If I export it and try to re-import it into GoodNotes, there's just no option for it. And the Apple interface just seems really confused by it. But I wouldn't be surprised if this option came in the future. For now, you can add Elements by lassoing or importing from your camera roll or drive. You can also delete entire collections if you want to, or individual Elements. So to celebrate the launch of Elements, I am giving away a free collection. This is a pre-cropped GoodNotes sticker sheet, so you'll just lasso each individual sticker and click the Add Element option. All right, so now it's time to go organize all of my stickers into Elements.